Hello and happy early Halloween, everyone. Today, we'll be making a delicious cheese ball that is shaped like a jack-o'-lantern. Let's get started. In a food processor or a blender, we're going to combine eight ounces of softened cream cheese, four ounces of shredded char sharp cheddar, four ounces of blue cheese, don't worry, it's just for flavor, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and two to three tablespoons of chopped red onion. You can also use a shallot if you like a sweeter, more milder taste. Then we're gonna blend that up until it forms a nice, nice smooth, creamy cheese paste. Make sure to scrape down the sides every now and then to get everything all blended. All right, and as it is, we have a delicious cheese dip right here, but we're gonna take it one step further. We are going to wrap it in plastic wrap and shape it like a ball and chill it in the fridge several hours and up to overnight. This way, when we roll it in cheese the next day, it's going to have a round shape similar to a pumpkin. If you don't make this for Halloween, you can also just roll it in cheese or chopped parsley and make it a regular cheese ball. We have it at parties all the time and it's always a huge hit. Shape it up and chill it. All right, now it's time to make the garnishes. We're gonna cut the top off of a bell pepper, any color, and we're just gonna carefully cut out the stem and set that aside. Then we're gonna cut down a few nice planks of the bell pepper, try and get a flat surface so you can cut out more intricate decorations, and cut out any facial features that you want for your jack-o'-lantern. I went with the classic gap tooth smile and triangle eyes, but you can do anything you want. I think one year we made a pirate jack-o'-lantern. That was really fun. So yeah, absolutely get creative, make the kind of jack-o'-lantern that you want to look at and eat. All right, and once you have the decorations cut out, we can get the cheese ball out of the fridge. We're also going to need some extra grated sharp cheddar so that we can roll the cheese ball in it and make it look even more orange and like a pumpkin kind of reshape it if, if it got a little wonky in the fridge. It's sticky enough so the cheese will stick directly to it. You don't need to add anything. Kind of press it on there if you need to. We want plenty of cheesiness. And then place it immediately in the serving vessel of your choice. and start to stick on those decorations. Get the stem in first, kind of press it down on top. And the facial features, with the cheese, they might pop off a little bit, but they stick pretty nicely if you press them down. And there we have a super cute, delicious cheese ball. It's so tangy and cheesy and a little bit savory and a kind of funky from the blue cheese, and it's absolutely the perfect thing for Halloween. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. You can check out the full recipe at mollyscozykitchen.com. Thank you so much for watching.